Hi guys, Abs here. I'm going to be taking you through a demonstration of the account signup script, but in this demonstration guys, I'm going to be showing you an update that's been released. Now with the account signup script, you can actually create 85 plus accounts. However, the very first account signup scripts that you're used to is this one here guys, with your settings area at the, um, towards the top left hand side, with your account signups there and then your other more account signups there as well. Um, right then, this has got 65 accounts in total guys. Um, and then you've actually got a new script that I've just coded, which I'm going to be sending out to you. Um, and it's going to be called Account Signups 2. The Account Signups 2 script, guys, it will look similar to this section here. So you'll have the globe inside of the folder, which will be your actual application. Um, however, because this is a test account that I've actually created for myself, um, you won't see that here. But all you need to do is click on the Sign Up 2 script as well, guys. Now, the Sign Up 2 script works in exactly the same way as the very first Sign Up script. However, you only have 20 accounts that you can select from here. And you can use them together. The very first thing that we do need to do though is still use the very first sign up script, create our AOL account and Yahoo account. Once the Yahoo and AOL account has been created, guys, enter them details into here <clears throat> with the same username and password as well. And then we're set to go and have both the softwares working simultaneously, um, getting everything signed up for us. So I'm going to be doing a quick demonstration showing you how we can get this set up. Um, obviously, you already have video. Um, demonstration showing you exactly how the sign up process works but now I'm going to be showing you how you can work how you start off this sign up process script and the sign up to process script and work them together so I'm going to be choosing um, a username the very first thing I'm going to do of course I've already cleared my cookies but I'm just going to double check to make sure that my flash cookies have been cleared so I'm going to go to google.com and I'm going to go to clear flash cookies and I'm going to go to the macromedia.com website, ensure that I have no flash cookies in there, which is fantastic. If I did, I'll just click on delete all sites and click on confirm. So at least I know I have no flash cookies there now. I still could be getting tracked by my IP, which we'll find out later on. So I need a unique username, guys. We want some numbers in here as well. Refer to the free um, the FAQ guide that I've actually created. It will help you out immensely. So I'm going to create something unique. Okay, that sound, that looks a bit unique to me. I'm going to create a unique password. That's going to be easy to remember. I'm not going to enter anything in the email field. I am going to save the report and I'm going to save it over to a location that I can, well, I'm going to save it over to the same file location to be precise. Um, let me just find that for us here. Okay, I'm going to save it here, guys. I'm going to call it report sign up one dot CSV. Call it wherever you like, guys. Okay, um, I'm not going to use any capture services, guys. So I'm not going to actually sign up to any accounts. I'm only going to do the first two emails and then let this continue. And then I'm going to also um, go and show you how to set up the other script as well. So just remember, guys, we're working. The very first thing we're doing is working with the account sign up script before we can go ahead and work with the account sign ups to script. But we only need this to get past the two email account creations until we can get this one configured and started as well. So let's just get this done how it is at the moment. So I'm gonna click on select all, because that is what you do. I'm gonna click on AOL, and I'm gonna click on Yahoo, because that's what we want. We don't wanna verify emails yet, and I'm not gonna use any capture service, guys, because uh, I haven't got my details filled in either. So I'm gonna click on play. Okay, the software's gonna try and clear cookies for us as well to start off with. It's very important that we clear cookies, especially with the kind of sites that we're working with. And as you're aware, guys, after AOL creation and Yahoo creation, even if they don't get created, the software pauses just to ensure that you can confirm that it has been created. If it hasn't been created, you can interfere with, this, with the process and get that created for us. So this is a Yahoo account, guys. I'm not sure if it's gonna go through. We'll certainly find out. As you can see, that's gone into play there. So that means it's paused. It looks like Yahoo hasn't um, responded yet, so we're just going to wait a few more seconds until it does respond. Okay, it doesn't look like it's responded, guys. This is the whole reason why I've actually had the pause in there, because it can work very, very strangely, especially with Yahoo and AOL, hence the pauses in there. So I'm going to click on the Create Account script manually. Sorry, uh, Create My Account on there, and let's see if that's going to recognize us and get that done for us as well. Okay, it doesn't look like it wants to respond, so I'm going to click it again. Okay, let's try one more time. And Yahoo is being a pain. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on stop, guys. Because it just doesn't look like right. Yahoo wants to respond with me there. Uh, which it could be that you're getting exactly the same issue. So I'm going to do it so that we can actually go through the issues together. Let's give it another try and see exactly what's happening. Looks like Yahoo just doesn't want to respond on this one. 
which is very new, which I haven't seen before as well. Okay, so we've got H Z W R S U. Uh, okay, this time it's telling us that please try this code instead. And as you can see, it's gone into play again, guys. So this time I'm going to interfere with the software and directly enter the details in here. And this is this is just issues with Yahoo and, and, and Hotmail, to be precise, guys. Um, and I'm going to click on create account. Fantastic stuff, guys. As you can see, our account, create, our account has been created. I'll click on that and I'll copy it. Well, I don't need to actually copy that because we can see that that is our um, code there. So all we need to do is add the at yahoo.com on the side. So I'm going to click on copy. I'm going to go over to the script here. We need our Yahoo email address in this area here. And I'm going to type in yahoo at yahoo.com. So there we go. Our username is going to be exactly the same. Our password we want exactly the same as the one on the other page, guys. And here, really, we're looking for an AOL account or a Hotmail account or a Gmail account or a GMX account, anything that the POP3 script works with. Of course, here, I've coded in AOL for you and Hotmail as well. We don't want to be using Yahoo because the POP3 script doesn't work with Yahoo here, guys. I'm going to click on play now, guys. It's going to go away and start doing Yahoo for us. If we have a look up in this file here, guys, we'll have a report sign up one. And inside of this file, guys, we should have our, have, we should have our um, Yahoo account and our Yahoo email address in there as well, which is fantastic, which is exactly what it's done. And now it's trying to create our AOL account for us. Okay, AOL creation and sorry, email creation is going to be the slowest process, guys. And the whole reason behind that is you can see the kind of methods that I've had to use uh, to fool AOL and Yahoo that we are not robots, uh, but we are actually people that are signing up. Um, many of the softwares have major problems signing up to these accounts. Um, there are a few, there are a number of ways around them. Obviously, they are going to be much slower. Um, so this is AOL for us, guys. As many are aware, AOL can cause a number of issues, especially if you're signing up to a number of accounts a day. Um, so the whole idea is to ensure that you do get used to using proxies as well. So there we go, guys. No issues whatsoever. So we've got exactly the same username, but at AOL.com. So I'm going to copy that, click on there, uh, paste it on there, and type in at AOL.com. Fantastic. I'm going to copy that as well, guys, and I'm going to paste that into there at aol.com i'm not going to use death by capture or decapture guys of course as mentioned to you a little while ago um i'm not going to be signing up to the accounts or actually i will sign up to the accounts. so i'm going to show you the linking script as well um but obviously for the sake of this video not being too long and not to take up too much of your time and you already having video demonstrations of how the account sign up script works i'm not going to be you know putting you through the well putting you I'm not going to be taking too much of your time and actually showing you exactly how this works. All we need to do though, guys, it works in exactly the same, the same way. Let's save the report over as well. I'm going to save this report over into account signups too, guys. Um, or I can save it in here as well. It's entirely up to you. But if I keep it account signups too, it just helps me understand that, you know, this was created in there. Um, so let's go account signups 2csv Click on save, guys, and that's saved over. You can manually select your accounts in here if you like. Or you can click on select all. I'm going to click on select tool, click on play, let this get on its way. That's going over to blip, um, blip.pl and that's going to sign up there for us. And on this one, guys, it's gone over to pause again. I'm going to click on play and let that continue to sign up for us as well. So while this is signing up to accounts, guys, we've also got this one signing up to accounts for us as well. As you can see, we're on Yahoo bookmarks on this one. Um, and with this one, we're going to only wire and Kanga only wire account fantastic only why has been created and on this one guys we're actually on yahoo pulse now as well so don't forget even though we only have the one checkbox oops even though we only have the one checkbox for yahoo bookmarks it also does yahoo buzz as well this is net vibes and as you can see guys signing up nicely we just signed up for twitter as well which is fantastic so the process is much more faster much more quicker as well guys not all accounts require you to have the ability so, so not all accounts require you to have pass sorry i don't know what i'm talking about now okay not all accounts require you to have um a capture on there or a capture solving on there like for example this one does so this one's gonna actually prompt me to enter the capture in here should I have prompted to use D capture or death by capture I would have this would have been sent over automatically to them now that looks like a pain of an image to solve so I've got MGMR not sure if that's going to be correct we'll certainly find out and it has been correct fantastic and as you can see here guys we're going over to Dropbox so we've got the sign up process running much quicker 
twice the speed obviously this one's going to finish much quicker guys because we're on 5 of 20 and there's only 20 accounts on here and on this one here we're on 10 of 65 and there's 65 accounts on there should you wish me to actually distribute the sign up so that we have an even amount in here and an even amount in this script as well um, then we certainly can do and it'll make things much quicker for us as well guys so as you can see it's working perfectly very very nicely it's going to make everything much more quicker much more easy and sweeter for us um, but other than that guys I'll actually come back with the next video demonstration showing you how we can actually easily link all of these accounts together with the four services pixel pipe ping fm hello text and only wire thank you very much guys and i'll see you soon